Okay, do it again. Point to it again. Here we are, Driscoll Mountain, 535 feet. Woohoo! You ready to go walking, girlfriend? Yeah? Are you sure? Okay, let's so, go. Driscoll Mountain is on private property. You park in the church parking lot and you follow the trail up. It's designated where it's way to go. So be respectful, folks, because you're on private property. Pack it in, pack it out. Come on, let's go. Okay. Grab some water. Okay. About two miles in and out round trip. There's a hard way and an easy way, and we thought we would go up the easy way and come down the hard way. How's that sound? Okay. Okie okay. dokie. We gotta go through the gate. See the little gate opening there? Oh, it's a ditch, huh? Yeah. We're not gonna record the whole way, so we'll catch it at the division. Hey, we're coming up to where it divides off the road. You can clearly see the uh, trail marker up here. So we're not gonna be going through the gate over here. We're gonna be going through the trail up here, along the trail. It looks like a nice, very well-maintained marked trail. In fact, it looks like it's been used a lot. We'll catch you a little bit further up there. Are you making it? Yeah? yeah? Is it tough going? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Actually, this trail looks like it used to be a road. An old road because it's pretty sunk in. Like they used to pull horses and wagons up here in days of yore. We have a sign here that says, this portion of the trail is courtesy of Melville Driscoll. Kraya, Kraja, the great, great granddaughter of James Christopher Driscoll. You would like to hike over the false mountain to get to Driscoll Mountain. Rather than go around the side of the mountain, take the northern path marked by trees with blue rings to the left of the sign. Stay along the trees, the blue property line markers. This trail is for experienced hikers because it is steeper and narrower, provides excellent hardwood scenery. Please remember the trail is privately owned. Hike at your own risk and leave no trace. There's a marker right there. We're gonna go the easy one on the way up and we're gonna, take the 
downhill one that's a little harder. Where'd he go? Look, see the daddy long leg right there? Yeah. Oh, there's two of them. Look at them. Two daddy long legs. You see him? Yeah. Look at him. There's one. This one. Yeah. This I don't one. know where there's two. two. Yeah. So we're on the normal trail. The majority of this trail, including the part on which you are standing, is courtesy of the Lou Jones family. The western side of the mountain has been the Jones family for over 120 years. It dates back to Mr. Lou Jones, Bienville Parish Tax Assessor in 1883. Appreciation goes to all the following folks. And remember, private property, pack it in, pack it out. Okay, we're coming. It's getting a little steep now. And we're working our way up. <coughs> the allergy's kicking in. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. See? Steep. Yeah. Kind of steep, huh? Uh-huh. Let's go. Huh. Huh. We're huffing and puffing. Huffing. huffing and puffing. Huffing. Yep. They got to get up to the top. Let's go. Yeah. You got to get up there. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. Here, give me a hand. Come on. You hear me? Huffing and puffing up here. Yeah. It started out as a cool day. Now, now it's hot. We got somebody waiting at the top for us. Well, almost to the top. To the top of that hill, anyway. Let's go. Woo! Let's keep on trucking. Wow! Look at like, look at that. Just like that, we're at the top. Come on, we're almost there. Yeah. Whew, I'm really huffing and puffing. Are you huffing and puffing? No, you're not. Five-year-olds aren't supposed to huff and puff. Only old grannies. Old grannies huff and puff. Wow, look at this. Isn't this cool? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Wow. It's so grown up. You can't really. Uh oh. Come on. Come on, get up. We had a bobo. So, Overlook says go this way. So, we're going to go this way. We're still recovering from our crash and burn. Come on. Come on, follow Jonathan. And go see. Wanna go see? Okay, let's go see. You want me to hold your hand? No? Okay. Miss Independent. Come on. Follow the trail. Yeah. Come on. It'll be like Rapunzel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Rapunzel. Follow the trail, right? Yeah. yeah? Okay. Rapunzel, yeah. That's That's and we don't have a cute horse, do we? 
No, we don't have a cute horse. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Look at, see Uncle Jonathan over there? Okay, we're getting in the overlook. Yep. And I think it's time to get the bug spray out. Jonathan, get the bug spray out. We got tall grass here. Because we don't need chiggers. Come on. Yeah. Look at the pretty. Ooh, look. Look, pretty flowers. See right there? See the pretty flowers? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. <coughs> You're always sneezing again. Come on. Keep going. <sighs> Pardon my allergies. Wow, there's a lot more trees up here than I thought there was going to be. Yeah. It's really pretty. Wow. There's the other tall mountain. Can you see it way over there? Yeah. Almost as tall as this one. Not sure of the height on that, but we'll find out. So, highest point in Louisiana, 535 feet. That's all Louisiana can claim. 535 feet. And the cairn over here, the rock cairn is supposed to be the um, highest point up here where the cairn is. Oh, that was Jordan Mountain over there. The other Jordan Mountain, the Jordan Mountain. Special thanks to JR Properties and Warehouser making this high point available to the public. Boy Scouts, Eagle Scouts, very good guys. Jack Longacre founded High Pointers Club in 1987, scattered his ashes on Driscoll Mountain. There's a glare on it. There we go. May 22, 2003. Huh. Very interesting. Cairn marks the spot, marks the high point. So I'm guessing that the other trail that we're gonna be taking down is right here. Because the regular trails right there that we came up. So I'm thinking we're gonna go down this trail over here. We'll yep, see. Yep, we're on the right track. We're taking the we're taking the one down. We'll see how it goes. We got blue mark and an arrow. So we're heading in the right direction. We'll let you know how it is when we get to the bottom or midway. So far, pretty easy walk. Follow the little trail with the blue and the red on the trees. Yeah. Pretty easy trail. If this is the way it is all the way down, we'll be doing good. Oh, watch the twigs. Yeah, watch the twigs. There we go, good job. Yeah, keep going. Mm-hmm. Let's go. You got the grass will move. You don't need to move the grass, it'll move itself. Okay, let's go. We got a long way to go and a short time to get there. Look what we found. Can I don't know if we can see her. 
look. Oh, you see it, pretty web. And Mama Spider is, move up, Jonathan. Right there. I think that's her. Isn't that pretty? Look at the outline it has with the sun. So pretty. Well, it's a good thing to know we were on the right trail. <laughs> Although there wasn't any doubt with the blue and the red markings on the trees. So now we got a little bit of an uphill climb, I guess, to get out of here. We'll catch it when we get out. That's where we came from, down there in the bottom. And they must call it False Mountain because it's like a little mountain. Here we are back to the main road. Very easy hike. Little hush puppy had an oopsie daisy on the last few feet going down the little hill right here. So if an old granny and a five-year-old can do this experienced hiker route, pretty much anybody can do it. It's really interesting, a lot of fun. Y'all should try it. Did we make it? Yeah. How far did we hike? Two miles? Two miles? We hiked two miles? Yes, we did. And you did it all by yourself, too, huh? Yeah. Good job. You ready for another one? Ready to go on another hike somewhere? Maybe, kind of, sort of, when you get some rest? <laughs> We found the cash, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, what's it got in it? It's got a heart? Yeah, very cool. That ends our Driscoll Mountain.